why Iran wants to kill Israel while Saudi Arabia and the UAE real Muslims have a soft corner towards Saudi Arabia, the Abraham Accord, etc. Um, Iranians are converted ex-Parsis, ex-Zoroastrians. Then why do they hate Israel more than the real originator of, of Islam? Okay, interesting question. See, it's not about religion at all. Religion is just a pretext. You are right, the Saudis, I mean, Arabia is where Islam was born. And if you look at the way the geopolitical moves that Saudi Arabia is playing today, it is getting closer to Israel. It no longer views Israel as a mortal adversary. The Abraham Accords have happened. UAE and Israel have now opened efficient, uh, official cordial diplomatic relations. And the Saudis are very much on the verge of also normalizing their ties with Israel. So, where does that leave Iran? And, and why is it so? That's the question. So why are the Saudis now very happy? If, let's look at the geography. Here's Iran here. Here is the Arabian Peninsula. And here is this little country called Israel. So Egypt has long had reasonably good relationship with the Israelis. And now the most of the Sunni Islamic world is normalizing its relations, relationship with Israel. But Iran is still hell-bent on destroying Israel. So what is the cause of this? That's a very good question. Very good question. It all has to do with the geopolitical ambition of Iran and the geopolitical ambition of Saudi Arabia. See, the Saudis have never had this expansionist uh, agenda. All the Saudis have ever wanted is to live in peace in Saudi Arabia and enjoy the incredible profits that this oil business is bringing in for them. They have the highest, one of the highest living standards in the world. The Saudis don't do any work. They do go to offices and sit there and play solitaire. But there's no real work being done in Saudi Arabia or in the entire Arabian Peninsula. All the real work is done by ex expatriates, by the it used to be the Indians, now it is the Pakistanis and the and the Bangladeshis, etc., who do all the manual work, etc. Nepalese too, and Filipinos. So the, so the Arabians don't do any work, right? They just enjoy the free money that, that is flowing in from the sales of the oil. Now, Saudi Arabia is in, well, it's facing a crisis because the oil has been discovered in the United States. The US has become the world's largest producer of oil. So the future flow of this Unlimited cash is no longer guaranteed. That's why the Saudi Arabia, so the Saudis want to normalize relations relations with the neighborhood and and you know settle things down. The Iranians have a very different geopolitical agenda. The Iranians are an expansionist regime, the regime of the Ayatollahs. They basically want to bring back the Achaemenid Empire, the Persian Empire, the Hakshamanish Empire. They have an expansionist agenda. They see themselves as conquering the world one day. That's why they are hell-bent on, on, on acquiring nuclear weapons technology. That's why they are so active geopolitically way beyond their borders, right? India has absolutely no influence outside its borders. The Iranians have far more influence beyond their borders than India can ever have as of today, or India is willing to have today. So the Iranians have been very vigorous and active geopolitical players for a very long time. They have a much greater appetite for risk. And that's why they see Israel as one of the major stumbling blocks against their long-term geopolitical ambitions. Because as long as this Jewish state exists there, especially a Jewish state that has nuclear weapons, then Iran's long-term geopolitical ambitions will never be fulfilled. Especially when you have Pakistan and India next door, who also have nuclear weapons. So Pakistan may one day, maybe in the next 50 or 100 years, reunite with India. But Iran wants to basically take over the world. And Israel is a big problem for them. And so is India, actually. And so are the Saudis. So that is the reason why they are hell-bent on destroying Israel. That is the real reason. reason. It is not about, re it's not about religion. It's about their long-term geopolitical ambitions to rule the world.